you a, to ask you a question about this equation. Is x equals to a solution? Yeah. You can tell me yes as long as you can tell me how you know. Yes. Huh? Yes, because you can plug in 2, and I'll be 2 times 2, or 4 to 3 equals 4, and I'm going to add 3 to the seven. And so, all right. You might think like, oh, it comes out to be seven. The, the, the technical way we're going to talk about it is that both sides are the same. Right? It's almost exactly the same thing as saying it came out to be seven. But whatever it is, it means that both sides will be not the same. Yeah. Would you hold the same if you did minus three? Because that's what I did minus three. That was four. Okay, so that's another uh, way that you can go about it. But as we move forward to so this new idea, that's not going to be something you can do. Okay? Oh. But when there's this one variable here, you could just figure out what x is, because in this, e in this example, in this equation, there's only one thing that x could be. But that's not, not going to be the case, always. But we could do it. We could, in this case, solve it, get 2x equals 4, divide by 2, x equals 2. Yeah, that is the solution. I right? figure out the solution that is what the solution is. Okay. Uh, now, Something different, though not completely new. So here's an equation. What's different about this equation when you compare it to the last equation? Right? Two variables. Two variables, x and y. So now what I want you to do, I'm going to ask you for something, and I promise you it's not that difficult, OK? Because there's actually lots and lots of options. I want you to tell me a solution to this equation. You can do too much, Clint. Um, y equals something and x equals 0. 7, x is 0, and I can write it like this, right? I mean, I could say y equals 7, x is 0, or I can write it as a number of pair, and you know that the first one's x, the second one's y. How can we be sure Clint is correct? Plug it in. Plug it in. Get in, 2 times 0, plus 3 times 7, it needs to be equal to the other side. This right. is 0, 3 times 7, 21 is equal to 21. Both sides are equal. Can we come up with another one? Mm, yeah. You can do 21 divided by 2 and then get that. No. You can't do point, no. like decimal. Ooh. Well, let's just say we're, I mean, there are lots of, of, of options where we don't have to try and solve it. Like what I said, remember how you solved the last equation and figure out what x was? You can't do that here, because there's an x and a y. All right. Right? You could, I guess you could kind of do that. You could modify it a little bit, yeah? Um, x equals Okay, let's see. Two times three plus three times five needs to be twenty-one. So we have a six plus a fifteen. There we go. That's twenty-one. So yeah, that works too. Aiden. X is six and Y is three. Six and three. Uh, grab some three here. Two times six plus three times three. This will be the last one for this one. Doing really nicely. Yeah, 21 is equal to 21. It's, that's a solution as well. You already know. Write 0, 7, 3, 5, 6, 3. How many more are there? Nine. Billions. Billions and trillions. Oh, there and trillions. There can't be that many. Google Plex is worth yeah, like of oh. solutions. There's even, I mean, there's even a, an infinite number of solutions that are like integers, right? Positive or negative numbers. But, like, you don't even have to venture into decimals and fractions. You can just find those forever and ever and ever. Then when you think about the decimals and the fractions, that opens up even more possibilities. Okay. Infinite. Infinite. And then when you add them together. Add what together? Decimals and negatives. No, de de negative decimals. Yeah, that's going to be an infinite uh, more. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, it's the same thing for this. Equation. Can we come up with a solution for this equation? Quick. Make it a 5 for x and 0 for y. If you might change that. Oh, I mean, like 1. Make it a 1. Okay. For so you want that term to come out just to be negative 5. So 1 for x, 5, negative 5. Times 1 plus 2 times 0. Does that come out to be the same as negative 5? Yep. Oh, yep. obviously does. Okay, so 1, 0. There's a solution. Do you have another one? No. 
Okay. So negative 5 times 0 plus 2 times negative 2.5. Both sides going to be equal. This is 0. 2 times negative 2.5 is negative 5. And that's equal to the other side. So yeah, there's another solution. We'll do one more. Uh, Sarah. Could you do like 1 and 5? Like well, probably not. Because you'll notice this has a 1 there already. Oh, yeah. But the 0 would be the only one that works with 1. Maybe we could make this 5. the important part, and that is putting away your phones. Yeah. Right. That's, why you don't, that's why you don't get good grades. Yeah, we don't need to like, tell us Sam, I'm sorry. I didn't, mean, I didn't say anything funny. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, keep talking soon. I'm going to make a friend in jail. Uh, so, we found three solutions. The important part here is that we know what the solution means, an x and a y that makes the equation true. Now, I'm just going to put it all together. Here I have some, oops, some possible solutions. Possible solutions. Okay. I want you to try this guy in this equation and this equation. And see, does it work here? Does it work there? Right? And do that for all of them. Right. So you'll have eight of these. But you have to done. do this. Yes, you have to do this. That's why, why I'm using breath, passing it over my whole course so that you can hear quiet. what yeah, I'm saying. Because, yes, you have to do it. Okay, though. Okay. Don't ask silly questions. All right. If I finish with all eight, that's all right. Good work. The thing that I want to talk about is, uh, well, first, let's look at the ones where they do work. Because who cares where it doesn't work? I just wrote no one in, so. That's fine. This one. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we found all the the, the equations that, uh, that these are solutions to. So here we get to three, right? And of course, there's infinitely many. Here we found two that work in this <coughs> equation. Do you notice any uh, any of these solutions that has like something unique about it, special about it? It makes a pattern. I'm looking for just one solution, not a pattern about all the solutions. Just one solution that's unique in some way. Oh. Especially about any one of those. Let's try to. Mm -hmm. Aiden? Uh, make the same for the third one. The third one does what? It's the same for both equations. It works for both. Right? Yeah. By, by the same, I guess you mean that they. Yeah. That it solves both, makes both sides equal. And that is a unique thing. So, what we have here is a solution to this equation that's also what? A solution to this other equation. Okay? So, an equation can have a solution, an equation can have lots of different solutions. But when a solution works in an equation and another equation, we say it's a solution to that equation and that equation, and since it's a solution to both, we say, say it's a solution to, here comes a new term, the system of equations. It's a solution to the system of equations. So you know what an equation is? That's an equal sign. Take out your hat, please. The person wearing the hat. 
so using, like, you probably have not heard system of equations before, but just judging from the context of what we've been talking about, right, you got equations, and you got a system of equations. What would you say a system of equations is? A group of different equations, yeah. Actually, the word different is, a, is only a maybe. Maybe they're different. The system could have the same equation, but we don't need to worry about that today. Okay? If it does have the same equation, it'll be kind of like a, a secret that you'll find out. It will say, oh, this turned out to be the same equation, even though they look like different. Okay? But today, all we want to understand is that a system is multiple equations. Okay. Uh, and typically, if you have a system of equations where the equations have two variables in them, then you'll have two equations. If you could have three variables, and how, do you think, how many equations do you think are in a system like that? Three. Three equations for three variables. How about if we have four variables and four equations? Four equations. Four equations. Okay. Uh, and if a solution works in both, we say that it is a solution to the so if I ask you to test to see if something's a solution to the system of equations, what does it need to do? It has to match as much variables to as much problems. Mm, no, that's not what it needs to do. A solution, so here's a solution to the system. This is a solution to this system. How do we know that this, and on, on the screen here, it is the only one that we see that does what? Match both. Yeah, it, it works in both, it makes both sides equal in both equations. Okay. And so if that happens and it works in both equations, we say that it's a, a, a solution to the system of equations. Okay. So if it works in one but not the other, is it a solution to the system? No. Got to work in both. If it works in neither, is it a solution to the system? No. 